video is a really long time coming. I made this junk journal on stream. It is a gift, uh, so it will not be staying with me. And I'm going to get straight into it. So this is the back. I have covered it in loads of scraps of different fabrics. Again, with the front, it has this little cabochon, which also has a little moon in it. It's got resin in it. And then this lovely little charm on the edge. Uh, this is the inside. I glued everything down. And everything's been dyed with purple to kind of hopefully fit with the theme. Let me see. There we go. That's better. Um, I have tried my best to use lots of different scrap fabrics um, so that my junk journals are actually proper junk journals. So this, for example, was a uh, panel. I can't remember what it was for now, but it was a panel. And as I said, there's loads of scraps of fabric which have been used in the dragon that I made. Again, more fabric scraps. And uh, this is actually, I found this uh, little crab on the road. Now, the person that this is for is a cancer. So um, I thought that fit really well. Put a little bead on there. And so there's a lot of prints, uh, stuff that I did actually print, and obviously a sketchbook page. Um, there was also a lot of, um, I really like this. Um, panels from other things there's a broken dragon up in the corner i apologize i've just noticed him he needs to move he's going to be fixed and now there's a loki hello loki i need you to get down sweetheart good boy um and i really love these pages they're really bright and hued so as always, uh, I've done a bit of stamping, but I've tried to keep this as a very colour theme. And I've added beads into the middle of every signature. Um, obviously, we've got a little envelope. There's nothing in that one this time. Uh, just because I wanted to make this a bit more of a... I did a lot more sewing in this one than I normally do. Um, and yes, I've used some stickers. And again... I tried to use more fabric in this one so there is a lot of um, printed stuff that has been turned into uh, has fabric attached to it so this is another one of my favorite little type kind of tux pockets uh, so again this was a picture frame image and the booklet um, this is one of my old card making pieces with some scraps in the same colours because I never got around to using them. Uh, again, this is, I really like what I did with some of this stuff. Um, I used colours I don't normally use, so I probably will be making one of these again. Uh, another one of the beads in the middle. Um, and I have, you know, that's just a little part and another. Um, I used a lot more ink sealing, so I but I messed up quite a bit. <laughs> but yeah, I used a lot more um, scraps up. <laughs> Come on, Loki, down again. Um, from packaging and things, and a lot more stuff from like old uh, card making that I wouldn't normally use. So super proud of that. That's another one of those tech spots. Another bit of fabric being used up. And, uh, I love these. <laughs> okay, so I really love this uh, envelope, but I couldn't bring myself to use it. These are actually um, used to be used for stamps on my fold over, and I thought they'd be perfect for little tuck spots, and they do fit really well inside here, along with this piece, but I didn't. Uh, I did do something on that, there's that, and you can write or stick something in the back. <clears throat> and of course, a little wing, we've got a little bit of uh, ribbon stitched it all together there. I figured I do need to do more stuff with fabric because I have so much fabric left. Again, more stickery stuff. Another envelope, um, no envelope. Um, tag on the inside that I've stuck stuff to to create something worthwhile. This is an art print of my work. 
um, that didn't print properly and as you can see had some damage so I thought it would be lovely in here to at least find a home. Uh, again, another little um, card tag from some... I try not to buy a lot of new clothing um, but I went through a period last year where a lot of my clothing died so I made stuff out of it and bought new stuff. And this is a half an envelope page. Um, and again, this is a, uh, just a bit of, oh, I don't know, this is a hole in that wing. So, um, fabric and some twine and a bead and another one of the stamp bits. I really like the collaging I did on these. It makes them work a lot better. And then I tore this up. So you've got like a starter charts and things. Um, and there's another, so, again, that is just a leftover bit card that I back out. This is actually from my witch casket. It was an enamel, enamel pin holder, but I've turned it into something else because, as I said, that's my plan. Another bead. Uh, this, is, you, um, again, was another label from something. Whoops. Um, hmm. And this is just a piece of card that folds out and then tucks in. Uh, other side of an envelope, I really like that. Oh, so I, I actually included a bit more than I should in this one. So there's the backing piece there. Oh, wait, no, because there's several pockets. There's, there's two pockets. So there's that one there. And then this is another one of the... Um, came out of a picture frame because I've been buying picture frames. And I really, again, really like that. And then just did a little bit of card. Goes in there. I have loads of these and I've never used them, so I figured that this was the perfect time to start using them. So again, just a piece of paper to print on. I really like this card, so I thought that would be really good to keep in there. Um, again, this was actually from some press-on nails, and I was like, that's really cute. So I made a little card you can write notes on. Again, this was a leftover piece of something else, and I was like, oh, I'm not getting rid of it. And then this is the other side of the envelope. So that is another piece from the inside of a photo frame. Uh, buying a load of... Uh, uh, not buying. I have a picture frame for a load of my uh, witch casket artwork. And there we go. And that's the back. And that is the complete journal. So she'll be going off to her new home very soon. And I hope you've enjoyed this video of the most recent junk journal made and completed. So, uh, as always, uh, please do like, comment and subscribe. And I'll see you next time. Take care, have fun and goodbye.